Two minutes to my good friend from Georgia, Mr. Carter. The gentleman is recognized. I thank the gentleman for yielding. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to speak in favor of H.R. 382, the Pandemic is Over Act. Mr. Speaker, to quote President Biden, the COVID-19 pandemic is over. This is one of the few times I've agreed with him from this chamber. Now that the House is finally voting to end the public health emergency, President Biden has suddenly decided to end it in May. It's, it's past time for us to act. That's why I'll be voting for the Pandemic is Over Act, and I urge my colleagues to do the same thing. This is not just a symbolic gesture. It's critically important that we vote to end the so-called emergency once and for all. This administration has maintained the emergency declaration for three years, Mr. Speaker, three years. Americans have moved on from the pandemic. Georgians in my district went back to work and back to school over two years ago. So why is our country still under public health emergency? The reason why is because it's the vehicle this administration has used to implement mass mandates and other leftist policies. It's nothing more than an excuse for federal overreach that prohibits states from making decisions for their constituents. It's time to make it official. Let's end this COVID-19 public health emergency and focus on reviving our economy. I'd like to thank Representative Guthrie and Chairwoman Rogers for working together on this legislation, and I encourage my colleagues to support this bill, and I yield back.